YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Sheena, and today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY color remitter. Second, get a larger metal can. Larger enough that a small metal can will fit inside it with a room to spare. Make sure that it is empty, clean, and open on both ends. Third, puncture two small holes in the small can. Using a hole punch, carefully puncture two small holes in the small metal can. Position the hole just below the rim of the open ends of the can. Slide the thin stick between the two holes in the can. Slide one stick through the can to the other side. Fifth, fill the small can with water. Using a measuring cup, pour 100 ml of distilled water in the small metal can. Sixth, measure the temperature of your water. Using a thermometer, take the initial temperature of your water. You may need to leave the thermometer in the water for some time so that it can get an accurate reading of the water. 7. Place the small can inside the larger can. The small metal can should rest securely inside the larger one supported by the stick. Number 8. Insert one end of the needle into a cork. It will be used to hold the food inside the calorimeter. Make sure it can stand upright with the needle sticking up. Obtain some food to test. Weigh the food using an accurate scale and record the measurement. You will only need a small amount of food. Example of this is a shelled peanut. Prepare the cork food holder. Carefully wrap the end of the needle that is not sticking in the cork around the food you will test. Set the cork on a flat non flammable surface so that the food on the needle is sticking up. Lighting the food using a lighter as soon as it catches fire, place the can over it. Be very careful lighting the food and placing the can over it so that you don't burn yourself. Let the food burn. Keep the cans over the food for as long as it takes to burn completely. As the food burns, it will heat the water in the small can that is suspending in the large can. Carefully watch the food as it burns. If it goes out quickly before the food burns completely, relight it. Check the temperature of the water. Once the food has completely burned out, stir the water in the small can using the thermometer. Record the temperature of the heated water. Be careful moving or touching the calorimeter as the can and the other parts may be very hot. Wait the burnt food. Once the burnt food has cooled completely, remove it from the needle. Wait it again and record the measurement. 